When I first got started with AWS, I built out several projects so I could get some hands-on practice. But then because AWS charges you to keep things running, I would always delete those projects, which made it pretty much impossible to show off what I had built. And I'm thinking that a lot of you are feeling the same way based on the comments that I get, which are basically, how do I showcase all these awesome new skills I have and not end up with a huge bill for doing it? So in this video, I'm gonna give you four ideas. And by the way, if you need ideas on actual projects to build, then I've got you covered there as well with this playlist. I've linked this below in the description. But all of these projects use multiple AWS services, and I'll show you how to get them working together in these videos. And actually, a lot of them are eligible for the free tier, which means you might be okay to just leave them running as long as you're inside that 12-month window. But at some point, they will cost you. So let's get back to my list of four ways to showcase them. First, you would build out your fully working project and then record a demo of it before you delete it. So for example, this is an app called Wild Rides that we build in one of the videos. And it's basically a ride sharing app for unicorns where you can click on the map to request a unicorn at a particular location, say request, and here comes the unicorn to pick me up. So whatever the project is, you can demo the fully working version from the user's perspective, and then maybe go to the back end of AWS. This particular one is built using AWS Amplify. It's got a DynamoDB database. It uses Cognito and some other things that I could highlight on the back end. So you could record that final project and talk about how you built it. But you might be wondering, well, how do I really do that? I'm not into video editing. So a few things that you could do. The tool that I use for this video and all my videos is called Camtasia. This is from TechSmith. It's supported on Windows and Mac. They do have a free trial, but just know that the videos that you output on the trial will have a watermark on them, which is kind of a bummer, but it is a really good tool. You can check out the pricing to see if that's right for you. Or another tool that's totally free is called OBS Studio. I haven't personally used this one much, but there is support for Windows, Mac, and Linux totally free and open source. And for the demos that you're doing, this will probably be just fine. And then a third option is to use PowerPoint if you have that installed already. If you don't know, there's a tab in PowerPoint for record, and it'll do pretty much everything that you need for a simple demo. I'm not gonna demo this one because it's gonna interfere with the Camtasia recording that's going right now, but just go to the record tab. You can record a slide deck, but you probably want to do the screen recording. You're gonna have to start that in PowerPoint but then you can flip over to a browser or whatever else is on your screen and record that. Stop the recording, export the video, and there you go, you've got your video. So a nice option if you're already using PowerPoint on your machine. And there are all kinds of ways you can add some additional flair to your recording. I personally have wanted to learn Adobe After Effects to kind of jazz up my recordings a little bit. Here's an animation that I started. Don't laugh, I'm still working on it, but you could definitely add something like this to your portfolio video. If you want to learn After Effects or some of these other video capture tools that I've been talking about, then I'd recommend heading out to Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives. They've got thousands of classes led by industry experts across film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and more. Skillshare can really help you take your career, your skills, your hobbies, your passions, or even your side hustles to the next level. As you're polishing your resume and putting together a portfolio, there's all kinds of classes here that might come in handy. Maybe you're writing and publishing, productivity, personal development, or if you're not saying the exact thing you have in mind, just search for it up here. Like Camtasia, or OBS Studio, and you can get started with those classes. For Adobe After Effects, I was working through this class with Hong Xu, He's got some really awesome project files that I was able to use to get started right away. And his approach is very much learn by doing, which is what I like to do here on the channel, so that was awesome. And then I started digging into another After Effects course here with Jordy, who seems to have a very unique and entertaining teaching style. This one's been really fun as well. Finally, I would recommend checking out the learning paths on Skillshare. These are curated sequential class collections to master a specific skill. And I find they're a really great way to get started when you don't know where to start. And this is a really good time of year to kind of take stock of where you are with your skills and your career and where you want to go. Or even if it's not career related, you could learn to cook or draw or do photography. These learning paths are a really good way to get started. 
the first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So get started today. So using all those cool new skills that you've learned on Skillshare, just a few additional tips about this recorded demo. I would say start by showing the completed app, kind of like I showed you with Wild Rides. Show an architecture diagram of the different services and how everything fits together. Explain anything particularly interesting that you learned or any ahas that you had. And I would say keep it short, maybe five to 10 minutes, upload it to YouTube or Vimeo and share it with the world. The second way you can showcase your AWS skills and projects is to write a blog or article about them. I have two great examples from people who've completed projects from the channel and then written about them. This first one here from Perva, who created the Power of Math calculator app. She's written up what she did, all the different steps she took, lots of screenshots, which I love, and things she learned while building the project. And then another one here from Taha, it's for a simple memory matching card game where he writes up what he learned, has screenshots, and talks about what he built. There are several different tools or platforms you could use for a blog or article like this. Medium.com, Dev.2, LinkedIn, or even your own blog if you have something on another platform or your personal website. Tips here, I would start with a very short TLDR or a summary. Just a short paragraph or two that gives people an idea of what they're about to read. Lots of screenshots are good. Include architecture diagrams as well. Those are always super helpful. If you have any data or metrics to include, like a before and after, or performance or users or anything like that, that's always good to include. And then just for general writing style, it's nice to have it scannable, use lots of headings and bullet points to make it easy to get through. The third way to showcase things is to put it out on GitHub. Now this one is maybe more for developers, but even if you're just working on infrastructure, you could include a CloudFormation file or even Terraform if you're using that instead. This is a GitHub repository that I have for another video, so a little bit different than the example that you would be building, but I just want to show you how easy it is to set up a repository. You would have a readme file where you would explain the project. You would maybe throw in some diagrams or screenshots or something here. Again, different than what I've got, but this is a really good way that you could highlight what you did, you could have deployment instructions, maybe test cases, troubleshooting instructions, and that kind of thing. You could even link a video here if you decided to create one of those earlier. And the fourth option is to really pull together everything on your own website. Maybe you already have your own personal website, or you could create one and pull together videos and articles and GitHub repos and all of that onto your one site. If you need some ideas or want help getting started with this, I have an article out on freecodecamp.com where you build a website from scratch on AWS that's basically your resume. It uses several different AWS services. You can use your own domain name and all of that kind of stuff. So feel free to go through this. And then I've also got a video that walks you through how to do this as well. But you could build out the site beyond just the resume. Like I said, add pages for the other articles, for videos, for GitHub repos, and all of that, and showcase it to the world. And then in addition to building something on AWS, like the one that I just showed you, there's other tools and platforms out there as well, like Squarespace, Wix, GoDaddy. Some of them have free plans available and some are just very inexpensive, but they have drag and drop interfaces and it's easy to build a simple site. And then some tips here, include your resume or CV, whether that's the whole purpose of the site or you're including it on a larger site, just make sure you're highlighting that somewhere. Link to your articles or videos. Make sure there's a way to contact you through the site or point to LinkedIn or something like that. So there you go. There's four different ways that you can highlight your AWS projects and skills, kind of pull everything together and tell the world about it. If you found that helpful, give me a thumbs up on the video so YouTube knows to share it with other people. And also feel free to add your own ideas in the comments, things that you have found particularly helpful as you've done this on your own. Good luck and thanks so much for watching.